am the C-H-A-L-L, -L, your Donkster Rovers fan for football content, and welcome to today's edition of the DRFC Daily Report, bringing you the latest news, transfer activity, and rumours surrounding Donkster Rovers Football Club. Now, this episode is going to be talking about three massive stories. One of them I really don't want to report, but it is news, and that's what we do, so I do have to report it, unfortunately, for all you Rovers fans. Um, make sure you go check out uh, yesterday's videos. We did a Dear FC Daily Report when we did uh, an update with Charlie Seaman, so uh, he watched the video as well, so uh, thank you very much to Charlie for watching them. Uh, make sure you go check out my review, the first ever review of the brand new Three Lions Report series uh, following all the England FC International games. And uh, we won last night against Wales 3-0, so uh, I'll be doing another, another review, the first ever UEFA Nations League review uh, against Belgium. Uh, so that will be coming tomorrow. Uh, so very, very good stuff from there. And uh, let's get into this episode then. So today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, the player of the month and manager of the month being announced, one of which is going to Rovers, which I'll talk about in a little bit. And we're also going to be talking about how Darren Moore wants to bring that mental strength into the side over these next 10 days. But we have to start with the big story, and like I said, it's not what I want to report at all, but it is being reported, it is being linked a few hours ago, and you know whether it's true or not, I do have to report it, because we are about the latest news, rumours, and transfer activity surrounding the club. So, uh, as much as I don't like it, and you probably, you guys are probably sitting there thinking, uh, you know this first story from the title of the video, you know... You're probably sitting there thinking, why, do, why, why are we, you know, hearing this? I've got to report it. You know, the, there's links to this, and um, there's a full article actually from We Love the Seventy Two, I believe it was, and this explains why he's the perfect fit for this, for this specific club, which I'll go on about in a bit. Um, but yes, unfortunately, I have to report this. It is the link between Darren Moore himself and the vacancy at Barnsley. So let me give you guys a bit of context on this. Uh, the Barnsley manager, Gerhard Struber, I think that's how it's pronounced, uh, was uh, not sacked, but he was joining New York Red Bulls in the Major League Soccer Division in America. And uh, that's the MLS, that's the American uh, Football Premiership. And... He's going to be managing the New York Red Bulls, which, to be fair, I think a lot of Barnsley fans say he'll choose New York over Barnsley. But uh, Barnsley's got his qualities, don't get me wrong. Um, but um, just to give you guys a little bit of context behind it, so Struber's left for New York Red Bulls, and the vacancy is uh, open. Uh, Adam Murray is taking temporary charge until a new manager can be appointed. He is one of the candidates, by the way, for permanent role. Uh, but there are some other ones which I'll go on about through odds due to the Sack Race website. So I'll go and check them out after this report. But let's read this article as to why the Wheel of the 72 uh, football news site thinks Darren Moore is the perfect fit for Barnsley. So Barnsley, of course, in the new hunt for the new manager to replace Gerard Struber, who left the club for the New York Red Bulls. Now, Donkster Rovers boss Darren Moore has emerged as one of the bookies' favourites for the vacant position, whilst other names such as Hannes Wolf of Jenk and former Bournemouth manager Eddie Howe and former Lincoln and Huddersfield boss Danny Cowley are also in the running. Now, they've highlighted and some subheaded some points in this article as to why Darren Moore would be a good manager for Barnsley. He knows the club already, so of course, those of you who know Darren Moore a lot, uh, the former centre-back spent two years of his playing career at Oakwell, so he already knows about the club. Uh, he deserves another crack in the championship. I think Rowers fans couldn't agree with that more. I think he does deserve to be in the championship, with us, hopefully. Uh, but Moore did manage the 2018-2019 campaign uh, well, the end of that campaign uh, with West Brom. He was sacked in March last year, and despite the club sitting in fourth position and well on course to finish in the playoffs. Uh, now, of course, there was a sense of injustice around the sacking by the Baggies, and he should look to prove them wrong if he returns to the second tier. Now, the 46-year-old dropped into League One in July 2019 and has done well at the Keymo Stadium on a smaller budget. His side finished ninth last season and have started the new campaign very well. They play an attractive style of football that the report suggests would suit Barnsley. Donkster fans will be praying not to lose him to the fellow Yorkshire side, and of course they lost Grant McCann to Hull City at the start of last term, but his move there has shown the grass isn't always greener with the Tigers. Now it's in the third tier. Uh, Moore, like McCann was, could have had his head turned by a move to the Championship if, if, if his former club Barnsley come calling. Now... According to the article as of reading this, uh, there has been 213 votes 
as to whether more would lead Doncaster for Barnsley. And 52% said yes. 48% said no. So there we go. That is an article just detailing why Darren Moore would be a good fit for Barnsley. I personally do not think it's going to happen. Uh, I hope it's not going to happen. Um, I think from what his reports are about the mental strength of the team for the Rovers team over the next few days uh, and in training over the next 10 days, uh, it doesn't sound like he's letting on anything about moving clubs, which is a good sign. Um, but, you know, as much as you don't want to see him go, you can see why Barnsley might want this guy as a bookie's favourite. Now, other bookies' favourites have been mentioned as well. I've mentioned Hannes Wolf from Genk. Uh, they're 11th in the Belgian Premiership, so I've no idea what's going on with their season. But, um, you know, I think Barnsley fans do not want another European manager. I think it was very, very clear from the off that Barnsley do not want another European manager. They want someone that's, um, you know, EFL proven, championship, maybe Premier League proven. Um, so someone like a Danny Cowley and Eddie Howe or a Paul Cook, you know, I think he left Wigan very unfairly. You know, he left his post under that administration period. Uh, we're now, we're now Wigan are out of that administration period now with the Spanish, uh, with the Spanish buyers. Um, but during the administration period, Paul Cook left his post at Wigan. Uh, Eddie Howe, of course, um, left. Bournemouth by mutual consent after their relegation to the championship after five years in the premiership. I think he'll be a good manager for Barnsley. Uh, Danny Cowley, I always thought he deserved another crack in the championship because I think he's a very underrated manager and, you know, wherever he goes, he gets promotions and trophies. Uh, so I think that, you know, Danny Cowley will be a good fit for the club. I think he's championship and league one proven, so I think he knows his way to get out of, you know, relegation fights, in my opinion. And, you know, it's definitely going to be an interesting to see what happens. So let me give you some uh, official stats on the on the official sack race on the official uh, on their official website. Uh, so currently, according to them, 8-8 uh, eight, eight Sport have 1-2 to two odds. BV have 2-5 to five odds. And William Hill have 4-6 to six odds for Darren Moore. For Hannes Wolf, 8-8 um, eight, eight Sport have a 5-2 to two um, bookies uh, running BV 4-1 to one, and William Hill 3-1 to one. Uh, Eddie Howe uh, the former Bournemouth manager is 9-1 to one according to 888 Sport BV is 8-1 to one. William Hill's 9-1 to one. Um, there's other managers in there Marcus Schopp uh, from Hartberg uh, I believe they're in Germany um, so some good bookies favourites there of course Adam Moore is the caretaker boss at Barnsley he's in the bookies rating as well uh, Gotteborg's manager, Poya Ashbagi, uh, is in there. Bristol City's boss, Lee Johnson's in there. Steve Cottrell at Birmingham. Daniel Stendel, um, uh, of course, the well, previously the Hearts manager. Um, and I looked a bit more into, into Daniel Stendel. And um, to my knowledge, I mean, to be fair, I'm not going to lie, in terms of the the people that he's been associated with, Barnsley is one of them. So, uh, you know, Daniel Stendhal is a former Barnsley boss and the fact that he's been linked again, I mean, it didn't exactly go too well, but Stendhal didn't get back by the board, neither did Struber. So I think that's kind of a factor why Struber moved on and Stendhal moved on. So maybe Stendhal doesn't want to go back to that board, maybe. Um, Martin Devaney, he's been linked. Nigel Clough, Simon Grayson. Um... So there's Tony Pulis, Michael Duff, the Cheltenham manager, Michael Flynn, the Newport manager. He'd be a good one. Uh, he deserves the uh, the the upper tier. David Wagner, the former Huddersfield and former Schalke boss. Nigel Atkins, he's a good uh, proven manager. Graham Alexander's done fantastically well with Salford City. Maybe he'd like the the step up. Uh, Joey Barton, of course, Fleetwood are in the relegation zone, so maybe they need a change in manager soon if they're not going to get out of the rot they're in. Sol Campbell's been in the bookies. So th this is further down now. This is like the least likely candidates, but there's other people being mentioned in the in the candidates uh, further down. Uh, Darren Curry at Barnet, Steve Evans at Gillingham, Luke Garrard at Boreham Wood, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, Bobby Hassel, who's a, a former Barnsley player, has been linked, so maybe he could do a good job. Addy Hutter, uh, the Frankfurt manager, that would be a good... I'll tell you what, for European, that would be a, if they were going to get a European manager, he'd be a good one to get. Uh, Mick McCarthy, I think he'd be a, a good one. Ben Olsen, of course, the current DC United boss. Nigel Pearson, he's championship and Premier League proven. Uh, so there's a lot of candidates down there. 
um, that are in the race for this for this managerial post. And of course, you know the people that are near the top, the Eddie Howe, the Danny Cowley, uh, Adam Murray was further down. But Darren Moore, according to the SAT race, is the number one on the list. Now, of course, there are other sites that have got different bookies. Uh, so we're just going to have to see. This is, of course, early speculation from one different source. Uh, there are going to be other sources with different lists of uh, potential manager candidates and their bookies' ratings uh, currently as we speak. Uh, so Darren Moore won't be the only popular candidate. There are going to be other ones like the Eddie Howe and the Danny Cowley. And, uh, of course, Adam Murray taking it permanently. And Paul Cook, who's uh, another uh, proven championship manager. Um, but there are some other candidates further down that I could like to see come into this side. I mean, you know, the likes of Nigel Pearson, for example. You know, that's a good championship and Premier League proven manager that could steer Barnsley in a certain way. Um, the Frankfurt manager, I think his name is Adi Puta. I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, I think if you're going to get someone from Europe again, I think he'd be a good candidate for Barnsley. Um, I think that he's... You know, he's take you know, he's Frankfurt's current boss. So I think that, you know, he knows the field. He could go a certain way. I mean, Struber was very much an Austrian sort of transfer strategy. I think the Frankfurt boss would go down the German strategy, as would David Wagner. Um, I think Eddie Howe and Danny Cal would go along the English route and sort of invest in more English players and championship proven players uh, to get Barnsley out of the situations. Um, and you know, I think that it's very important they need to make the right appointment. Someone like a Paul Cook or a Mick McCarthy or even you know Adam Murray till the end of the season. Uh, so be interesting for Barnsley, but just please, please don't get Darren Moore. Please get Darren Moore. Please don't get Darren Moore. We need him. Um, speaking of Darren Moore, he was nominated for Manager of the Month. Unfortunately for September, he did not get it. It went to Ipswich as Paul Lambert. Is that the manager's curse? We'll have to see with that one. But one of our players did get Player of the Month of September. And that is, of course, our midfield by show, Magic Gomez. So Magic Gomez won the September award for League One Player of the Month. The Spanish midfielder scored in all three of Rovers' league matches during the month, having previously never found the net for the club or in senior football altogether. He saw off George Holliman of Hull City, Joe Piggott of Wimbledon and Alex Palmer of Lincoln to take the monthly award. And the 23-year-old was delighted. Now, of course, they did put some comments to the free press and he said as follows. I've been playing regularly and working hard to help the team and every time I wear the shirt, I give my best whatever the manager needs me. I think the goals have been a result of playing with more confidence. I know the league better now and I have a better reading of the game. I've managed to work myself into space to receive the ball in good areas, and that's when I've been able to get my shots away. Now, the former Wolverhampton Wanderers striker turned Sky Sports pundit Don Goodman was part of the judging panel and felt the award win was deserved, saying when you score a goal from midfield in every game of the calendar month, it should come as little wonder when the accolades come swiftly after. Magic Gomez was a revelation in Rovers in September and richly deserves the award. The Spaniard produced some wonderful strikes for Doncaster with each giving the sense that it was a real shame there were no fans in the ground to fully appreciate his outstanding performances. Now the EFL Skybet trader Ivor Davis said Magic Gomez was in outstanding form for Doncaster during September. The Spanish midfielder scored a goal in every game as he helped Don to two wins and a draw. Skybet rated Rovers rated as a midfielder. Uh, mid-table outfit before the season started but after some eye-catching performances from Gomez in particular we've gradually been increasing their rating each week and if they can finish off where they are now in the playoff places this would represent a very good season for Darren Moore's team. They're 2-1 to one to finish in the top six from 4-1 a month ago. So there we go. Big congratulations to the Spanish midfield maestro Magic Gomez on receiving September's League One Player of the Month award. Uh, big commiserations to Darren Moore for not getting the uh, Manager of the Month award. It did go to Ipswich's Paul Lambert. Is that the manager's curse? I don't know. Ipswich has suffered it before. Um, so we'll have to see with that one. But I definitely think that um, Darren Moore was a, a was a worthy candidate to be nominated at all. I think that it's great to be nominated. Even if you don't win it, get to be nominated for Manager of the Month. You know, it's very, very good indeed. And I think that, you know, Doncaster can take that positive of the Player of the Month award. Magic Gomez can use that as a, big of, uh, as, as a bit of, um, you know, 
conscious regainment, a little bit of positivity regainment in his consciousness. So I think that he can use that to try and get better on the pitch because the first couple of games of October uh, against Wigan and Oldham weren't exactly the best games in the world for him. So, uh, you know, I think that he can use that award now as a form of confidence to get his game back on track. Uh, and recuperate that form in October that he did in September. So, uh, you know, very good award for Magic Gomez right there. Final story today comes from the Free Press once again, and this is explaining how Darren Moore um, wants to address the mental capacity over these next 10 days break before the game next weekend against Portsmouth. The Doncaster Rovers squad may be in the midst of 10 uninterrupted days of training ground work, but hard running will be far from top to agenda after back-to-back -back defeats. Boss Darren Moore has pointed to his side's mental capacity following the loss at Wigan and Oldham, particularly in regards to their failure to take chances, keep up their front foot efforts and avoid poor mistakes in defence. Promoting a change in mental approach is Moore's primary goal before Portsmouth resume action at Portsmouth on next Saturday. With an intangible aspect of the game such as mentality, altering it can be easier said than done, but Moore has a clear idea of how he'll approach doing so. Now he told the free press you can show him points in the first half where that mental capacity wasn't there and where it was more a positive one. I uh, said didn't find that they've got ability but it's staying connected with the game and engaging with the game. It's all about talking them through those points in the game when the game is drift slates on and if it's tight it's about staying in. To come away on the back of two losses, having conceded three goals in two games, and when I look on the balance of play over the two games, it's a bit baffling. For a manager, it's up to me to spot it, identify it, and rectify it. Now he said, I'm putting the down, I'm putting the uh, taking chances, the mental issues contributing to the lack of chance being taken despite dominance. He's putting that down to the mental side of it, the attitude to get right contact on it, he said. He then went on to say, did they play well again? Yes. Did they move the ball well? Yes. Did they create chances? Yes. Was the final touch there to score the goals? No. At the other end, were they solid? Yes. Did they get the first contact? Yes. But a free kick, we switch off, and from our own throw-in, we miscontrol the ball, and both efforts are in the back of the net. That's the way the game has gone. It's sometimes baffling as a manager that you don't see these things coming because they're mistakes. It's about the attitude to stay connected to the game, and I think that's the big thing when I look back at both games. So there, a big finale story from Darren Moore there about mental capacity. And this is something we've been saying ever since that Oldham defeat a few days ago. There needs to be a, a fight, a real fight to, to think about you know, what they're going to do now. And the big thing with me is that they can see the goal, they fall apart. And I think especially the Oldham game, I noted it in that review, especially in the second half after that first goal, we fell apart and we just lost ourselves and we didn't recuperate. It looked like we were berate of ideas. So we need to recover that against Portsmouth on Saturday. Otherwise, you know, there's going to be big, big problems in that side that we can't fix at the minute. So it's going to be a big one for Darren Moore next Saturday. Really, really big one. It's a big one right now. As soon as we speak in training for the next 10 days, he's going to be on it, on it, on it. And he's going to want the best 100% out of his players. And the players are going to have to give him 100% in training and in the match on next Saturday against Portsmouth. Because anything less than perfect, you're out the team. And when you've got players coming in and when you've got you know, interesting players like Robbie Gott, who's a very good holding midfielder. You know, that's what I was saying about Gomez. Hopefully he can take that award as a positive sign and get that positive form in September now, like it, 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 from from September into October. Because any more mistakes from Magic Gomez, he could be on the bench from this team and we could be bringing in Robbie Gott if he comes to the club. So it's going to be a interesting one. It's going to be a very nice 10 days to relax for fans, but for the players... It's going to be a hard-working one. So, uh, there we go. So, thank you very much, guys, for watching this episode of the DRFC Daily Reports. Obviously, big, big stories coming out of today. Uh, the mental capacity of the team going into the Portsmouth match. Um, and, of course, speaking about Magic Gomez as Player of the Month award. But, of course, the big ones, speaking about Darren Moore and Barnsley. So, uh, I, in my opinion, the link isn't there, in my opinion. I think it will be a different person. I think Darren Moore will be safe from the Barnsley job. Uh, so, don't worry, guys. He will be safe. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is the C-H-A-L-L, your Donkster Rovers fan for football content. And for now, I will see you guys tomorrow uh, for hopefully another DRFC Daily Report and also the review of England versus Belgium. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.